y'all like, when is he going to actually put the LS in? I'm getting there, y'all. All right, so the first thing I did was I went ahead and removed all of the interior. And then I used a wire disc to go ahead and get all that cylinder around. That was actually around the, uh, the air box for the heater and the AC. Here what I'm doing is I'm just using a wire disc and getting every type of sealant, any type of that gunk off initially. Then from here I'm moving directly to uh, taking that wire brush and getting all the heavy rust off that frame. Cutting there for some flange, and here's um, me just cutting out that that patch panel for the uh, for the heater box. Oh, look at me, boy! I look like I'm scared to well. Just grinding out my wells. I already know my well sucks, so it is what it is. Here what I'm doing is just finish up my wells before I get ready for paint. Trying to make sure everything is closed off that I don't need for the LS swap. Yeah, I know I need a, a real welding cap. Alright, just finishing everything off one more time. One more time. Making sure that everything's smooth. Got that cleaner to greasy here. Uh, one to one ratio with water. Pretty simple. I just got me a old uh, glass cleaner bottle. Put the one to one, the water, water, and then the degreaser. Now I sprayed this on pretty heavy. Uh, I wanted to make sure I first got everything clean fairly well. I know I could have used any other degreaser, but I just went with this complete program here. Pressure washing the greaser off. I think I let that degreaser sit on there probably about 20, 30 minutes. Now I'm moving directly to that metal prep. It's the Port 15 metal prep. Of course it has. You can definitely smell the phosphor gas. Now I'm trying to start from the top and go to the bottom. Put it in, pressure wash it. Put it back on, pressure wash it, but I let it sit for about 25 minutes. So I went to press and came back with it. Here I'm just drying off the surface with uh, my air gun. Now let me just take the time. You definitely want to have uh, your, your your safety goggles on, safety mask. This stuff is very strong. Don't get it on your skin. That's why I got those huge uh, gloves there I got from Harbor Freight. That brush, Harbor Freight saran wrap because you want to make sure that that you want to make sure that you get this cap uh, back on but you want to have it separated from saran wrap and just keep switching that saran wrap out because you don't want the the paint to mix up and adhere to the actual top I know I'm saying a lot about that but that's a big deal to a lot of people so I want to make sure to say it um, here I'm actually taking some uh, I'm actually I use this Chinese bowl from the other day so I just went ahead and uh, put the paint in there and just went at it this stuff actually lays out pretty good I'm not worried about the streaks or none of that because I plan on top coating this some other time I'm just trying to focus on getting the metal encapsulated with this pour 15 Like I said, it went on pretty smooth. I was pretty happy with it. And uh, here's the finished results. Alright, so it's 5.02 a.m. This is the next morning. Alright, y'all. I'm really putting the LS in next, so check me out. 